Next up is a company hoping to make a dent in the growing plastic waste problem. Do you know how many plastic medicine bottles are used or sold each day? The short answer is a lot. That's enough to make a line from here in Los Angeles to Australia 325 times. Every year, there are about 194 billion pounds of plastic created in the environment when it comes to pharmaceutical and medicine waste. So we wrote a pledge to get people to buy less um, partying favors and supplies such as bags, hats, toys, balloons. I love what you guys are doing. It's so impressive. Can you explain why these plastic medicine bottles and plastic things in general are bad for the earth? Great question. When you go to your parties or you go to the cafeteria, just imagine that 95%, so nine out of 10 times you use a plastic utensil, that's not gonna be recycled. That's just gonna to be tossed into the ocean or landfills eventually. So why that becomes a problem is, and I think we've all seen those really sad photos of you know, sea animals that are yeah. swimming around in plastic, um, or we've seen these images of like microplastics. Sharks, in my hand is the amount of microplastics that you unknowingly ingest every single year. That's oh. 260 grams of microplastics, which is like consuming a credit card every single week. Wow. Um, but why that's really, one, that's just uh, really bad for the environment on sort of destroying wildlife. But on a larger level, that starts to destroy um, natural environmental systems that manage the way the environment works. Um, so starting off with sort of the oceans, that creates a lot of damage for different animals. And as soon as you guys know, as, as both you know, once you have a certain species that's starting to get damaged, the whole system starts to unravel. The second is that oceans are really important for the sequestration of carbon, meaning taking carbon out of the environment and making sure that um, greenhouse gases are monitored. So um, oceans are like the lungs of the earth and um, kind of like smoking or putting plastic into our lungs, we're damaging the lungs of the earth. And the last side is plastic is really challenging because it's it really never breaks down. That if you take a piece of plastic and you you run it in a grinder, like a, the ones that you make smoothies. Uh -huh. um, that just starts to become little itty bitty types of plastics. And they never really go away, even though they're really small. And those are called microplastics. And that can cause different issues. But I'm optimistic because of people like you and the Plastic Free Pledge. So I am a big fan. Sign me up.